the 77-year-old was worth £58 million in 2016, according to the annual Sunday Times Rich List. If this list is correct, his wealth rose by £3 million between 2015 and 2016, following a tour to mark his 75th birthday, which was made up of six shows at the Royal Albert Hall and eight shows in the UK and Ireland. Today, Sir Cliff Richard also received compensation as he won a high court privacy battle with the BBC over its coverage of a police search of his home. A judge awarded Sir Cliff £210,000, and he could get much more. Where does Cliff Richard live? The singer sold his £3.5 million mansion in Sunningdale, Berkshire, as he believed it had been defiled by the police raids he is thought to have bought another home nearby. Cliff also has an apartment in New York and is the joint owner of the 141-bedroom Aurora International Hotel in Manchester. He put his £7.5 million villa on sale on the Caribbean island of Barbados in 2017 and also sold off his award-winning vineyard in Portugal in the same year, who is Sir Cliff Richard. Cliff's real name is Harry Roger Webb and he was born in India at King George's Hospital on October 14, 1940, as his father Roger was a manager for a catering contractor that serviced the Indian Railways. The family moved to Tilbury, Inness in 1948 and he developed an interest in skiffle music after his father bought his a guitar at 16. He was originally marketed as a rebellious rock and roll singer and dominated the British music scene with his backing group The Shadows in the pre-Beatles period of the late 1950s to early 1960s. The star is the only artist to have achieved number one singles every decade from the 1950s to 1990s. He has released 42 studio albums and 146 singles throughout his career. Some of his most memorable tunes include Congratulations, Living Doll, Summer Holiday and Devil Woman. Every Christmas his catchy song Mistletoe and Wine is also resurged. This morning he won his privacy case against the BBC over broadcasts of a South Yorkshire police raid on his home in Sunningdale, Berkshire, in August 2014, following a child assault allegation. In August 2014, a complaint was made to the Metropolitan Police's Operation U-Tree which was set up in the wake of the Jimmy Savile scandal. However, he was not arrested and said his naming by the media felt like he had been hung out like live bait. The 77-year-old singer hugged friends after the ruling and as he left court fans clapped and sang his hit song Congratulations. It's wonderful news. I can't believe it. I'm choked up, he said.